Hi friends, it's Felicia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the A to Z bookish survey tag and I was tagged by Janie at Bookworms Buddy. So thanks Janie for the tag and that is what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to get started. A is author you've read the most books by. I think, um, I don't know for sure, but I think for me that is uh, Sophie Kinsella. I have read all, what was it, 14? 13 of her books books published as uh, Sophie Kinsella. So I I think that is the answer. B is best sequel. And the first one that comes to mind actually is uh, Where She Went by Gail Foreman. That is the sequel to If I Stay. And I am choosing that one because I think that is the best, like one of the best continuations and conclusions of a story and I don't know I thought that they complemented each other really well um so I'm just gonna pick that one I just read I read so many trilogies so it's just hard to pick but that's the one that I'm gonna pick for that answer C is currently reading um mer, I am currently reading Never Fade which is not here in my bio but I'm reading Never Fade, which is the second book in the Darkest Minds trilogy by Alexandra Bracken. And I am enjoying it. D. Drink of choice while reading. I like to drink water. I like to drink Pepsi. I like to drink hot chocolate. I like to drink chai tea, chai lattes, anything that has chai involved. Um, I like to drink other kinds of tea. It really depends what my mood is. E is e-reader or physical books. Um, definitely physical books. Although I wouldn't mind having like an actual e-reader. I read off of my tablet here, but I wouldn't mind uh, an actual Kindle. That would be nice. But um, phys physical books will win every time for me. F is fictional character you would have dated in high. <laughs> you would have dated in high school. Um, who's the biggest nerd? Well, that's who I would have dated in high school. I probably would have dated Radar from Paper Towns because I was totally into the musical guys and like the band geeks in high school and like the smarter and nerdier they were the better so I would have dated Radar from Paper Towns. G is glad you gave this book a chance. I am glad that I gave The Hunger Games a chance. Um, I actually read it um, I read it many years ago and I wasn't really, I wasn't into dystopian really then or fantasy or like anything really. I just basically read, um, I just basically read contemporary stuff or like historical fiction. And so that was my first foray into dystopian and I didn't know if I would like it. I just heard a lot of people talking about it and I'm really glad that I gave The Hunger Games a chance because like it just opened up a whole world of books to me and I mean I love dystopian and I love science fiction and I just love all of all of it so definitely The Hunger Games. H is hidden gem of a book. For this one I am choosing Wild Geese by Martha Ostenso and I'm showing you the cover so that you can see this and go buy it. This is a Canadian-ish classic -ish, and it is it was written in the 1920s and it is set in a community that is a fictional community that is actually based um, based on the area where my um, grandparents and most of my aunts and uncles actually live. Um, it's very similar to that but like in 1920 also um, and it's it's set in Manitoba which is where I live so I like that. Oh man it's been a few years since I read it. But it's about a woman, her name is uh, Judith. It's dealing a lot with um, her family situation. Her dad is very controlling and possessive and it's kind of a coming of age. Um, it's kind of dark, it's kind of dark. Like it's not a happy book at all. Um, but I just really love this book while I was reading it and I would recommend it if you if you like more of the um, more serious um, and it's kind of atmospheric and a lot of the themes in the book you can feel in the atmosphere and the environment around them and 
that's just a wonderful book and I would recommend this. So this is Wild Geese by Martha Ostenso. Go buy it. Do it now. I is important moment in your reading life. Um, can I say The Hunger Games again? Because that really did open up a whole new world of books to me. Today is just finished. Just finished reading Amulet, the first volume of Amulet, and it was very good. And I have the next two from the library. I'm going to be reading them probably once I'm done filming and editing this video. Today is kinds of books you won't read. I will not read horror, gory, slashy stuff. I will not read erotica. I will not read um, things that are kind of occultic. L is longest book you've read. Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. It's so good though. It's so good. M is major book hangover because of uh, The Book Thief. I had a book hangover. Oh my goodness. Yes. N is number of bookcases you own. I actually own one bookcase, which is right here. I don't think you can see it. Um, this is not really a bookcase. It is shelves bracketed to the wall. I am hoping in the next couple months to be buying um, some Billy bookcases from Ikea because holla Ikea and that'll probably be a double shelf and I will really enjoy that. Um, but yes, for now I just own one which is right here and you can't see it because it's ugly and old. O is one book you have read multiple times. I have read many books multiple times. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I have read this book um, three or four times, I think. Um, I'm due for a reread of this, so yes. Uh, another book that I have read multiple times is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in that um, series, all the five books. I have read those at least four times each, and I'm also due for a reread of those because they're just so funny. And every time I read them, I find things that I didn't pick up on the last time and they just made me laugh and so I just got to keep reading them because I get more humor out of them. P is preferred place to read. I prefer to read um, on my couch in the living room or in my chair which is just in the corner here. Um, those are my two spots in the house. In summertime I prefer to read outside in my lawn chair. I have one of those uh, zero gravity chairs that like goes all the way back and that's where I like to read in summertime when it's nice outside quote that inspires you or gives you all of the feels from a book you have read. <sighs> okay, this is from The Last Battle by C.S. Lewis. All of their life in this world and all of their adventures in Narnia had only been the cover and the title page. Now at last they were beginning chapter one of the great story which no one on earth has read, which goes on forever, and which every chapter is better than the one before. That gives me all of the freaking feels every time. Art is reading regret. I regret um, Rooms by Lauren Oliver. I also regret, oh, what's the book called? It's called When She Woke by Hilary Jordan. That book is terrible. S is series you started but need to finish and all the books are out. The Darkest Minds series. I need to finish Never Fade and then I need to read In the Afterlight. T is three of your all-time favorite books. Uh, Jane Eyre, Under the Never Sky, Trilogy, that counts as one, <laughs> and uh, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, that's four. You, unapologetic fangirl for The Fault in Our Stars. I know some people don't like it anymore. I love it and I will always love it and that made me a fan of John Green and I just, yeah. V is for very excited for this release more than any other. Um, Winter by Maris Meyer. How do you feel, guys feel about the cover? Have you seen it yet? Like it just got released and I don't know if I like it. I like the idea but I feel like, um, first of all, the girl's hand looks white and I'm pretty sure Winter is not white. And also the purpley glow around the apple. I don't know if I like that, but I mean, it it does match. I just feel like there's too much purple on it, you know? And also her hand is white. That's my problem. But anyways, I'm really excited for winter. Like I'm really excited for it. W is worst bookish habit. 
that I start so many books and don't finish them. Um, and by that I mean I start, I, I read multiple books at once. That is my habit. So I start reading a book. If I'm not really feeling it, then I'll pick up another one. If I'm not feeling that one. And I just read whichever one I'm feeling. And sometimes I, like right now, I have like five books going right now. And I know that's not good, but that's, it is what it is. X marks the spot. The, pick the 27th book on your bookshelf from the left. So let's go. And is Fall in Love, Stay in Love by Willard F. Harley Jr. And this is a book that I got from church. <laughs> Why? Your latest book purchase. Um... My latest purchase that is not here yet, um, Book Outlet had the Lux series in stock, so I bought the Lux series as well as two other books, but the Lux series, so I'm excited to read that. Final question, Zed, Z Snatcher, book that kept you up way too late. I think Catching Fire, I stayed up until probably 3 a.m. to finish. Um... That's like, oh, I love sleeping. I love sleeping, guys. Like, I'm really bad. I love sleeping. So <laughs> I will, I will fall asleep reading a book. But Catching Fire, I remember I stayed up until I was done that book. I could not put it down. Um, and that was like 3 a.m. And that is it for the A to Z bookish survey tag. I won't tag anybody specifically. If you want to do it, please go ahead and say that I tagged you and uh, let me know, leave a link or a comment that you posted the video to your channel when it's up. I would love that. And uh, yep, that's it. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.